Hello and welcome to Bros Knows Best, a movie review podcast hosted by me, Ben Charlesworth, and my brother Scott Charlesworth. Whoa. 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 Uh, I'm sick, Ben. Um, you're sick? I'm sick. And you know what? I'm sick of you, <laughs> you, you stinky piece of shit. <laughs> You are, you are yeah. sick, you're a schnotty boy, that's you've what, got some tissues over there, yeah, a bit that's of Kleenex. Why, that's why I'm over here and Un- you're over there. Unrelated <laughs> though yeah. to you being sick, you just have a box of Kleenex there for, for you know you know what you need to do, when you're jorking it. When you're jorking it. Because the podcast just gets you, gets oh, you man, so it, excited. It just gets you like real just red hot. This is your routine. You you prep for the podcast, obviously, watch the movie. Yes, this is true. Write your notes, which yeah. is never, because you don't go with notes. No, and I, I haven't got any notes for this one either. No. Yeah. Then you do the podcast, and then you're just so happy that you go, you know what, I'm going to jork it. And then that's you done for the week. <laughs> that's me. It's me. After finished. that, it's just straight doom scrolling. Doom scrolling, doom jorking. Yeah, doom jorking. That's what we call it. That's the new breed. I'm glad. No, you're sick. You're- I am sick as. Uh, yeah, I got a head cold. It's got so a bit of a chesty cough. I'm a little bit no. uh, nasally today. If I sound disgusting, it's because I am, and uh, you know I'm I'm happy to own that. No, usually you do sound terrible, but you do <laughs> sound slightly worse at the slightly moment. Slightly worse, like it's usually like twenty uh, percent good, but now it's like fi- only like ten percent good. Well, if it makes you feel any better, yeah. I am quite dusty myself. Um, you're a dusty man. No, I'm I'm hungover. So oh, you're shit. sick. I'm hungover. Hey, well, it's perfect for the movie we're about to talk about, isn't it? It's I, it's really like setting the mood. I think I'm more hungover from watching that movie yesterday. I'm tired from that shit. You were saying in the car ride, man. I feel disgusting. I feel so drained. I don't even want to go out tonight. That's what you. That was verbatim what you were saying. That is car. verbatim. Yeah. And now... And I pushed through you st- and I had to party with the boys. You had to party with the boys. But still, you have that feeling lingering there mm. because we're rehashing what we did watch. And that movie was... Joker. Joker. Folly a do. Folly a do. Folly a dex. Yeah. What is this? Uh, what a stupid name. It's a movie. Um, Todd Phillips did things in it. <sighs> Young Philly. Look, we'll just... <laughs> We'll just say straight off the bat that this was not a good movie. And look, by the time this comes out as well, the internet is already over. Yeah, this is already all over it. Yeah, yeah. This isn't a good movie. But we just have to restate that this is really not a good movie. And it should never have been made either. Because by the time our review comes out, it's going to be way too late. And everyone's already got to forget about (laughs) Joker 2. They're probably, I don't know, doing something else like... So the the new Christmas movie is probably going to be out with uh, fucking J.K. Simmons as Santa. Yeah, true. But which also looks shit. It does look shit. But this didn't look shit no. in my eyes, and I was I was I was dubious. I was when they first announced two years ago, they're like Joker two. Yeah, Follicks of Dubs is going to be a musical. I wasn't I wasn't keen on that idea, but I could see how it could work. Mm. It was an idea that would be. It was kind of like, well, look. Joker can push the boundaries. He's insane. And having Harley Quinn there, that musical idea very much so could have worked. Could have worked. Could have. Could have worked. Really have to preface that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, no, it did not work. <laughs> it didn't work. Too many songs. I mean, we'll get into it. We'll, we'll get into it. We'll but get deep. We'll get deep. Let's, let's get real deep and you give me a fucking cheeky Please. synopsis. Which I also wrote out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, So, all right. So, following the events of Murray Franklin's death, Arthur Murray. F- Murray, Arthur Fleck is imprisoned and put on trial for the multiple murders he committed against the citizens of Gotham, starring Joaquin Phoenix and Lady Gaga with an array of returning and new names. We see Arthur struggle between the identity of a man and the monster that lies beneath, being the Joker. Did you write that yourself? I did. That's very good. Thanks, man. And what other notes do you have there? Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Just my score. That's it. I put all my brain power into that because that's as much as we're getting for this podcast. <laughs> no, yes. Uh, I think off the bat, let's just say off bat, wank- bat. Wanking Phoenix and Lady Goo Goo Gaga were great in this. They did good acting. Uh, most, really? Oh, no, go. go for say the most part. It. Say it. I don't think Goo Goo Gaga was that good. Okay. I don't think she was that good in this movie. And it's not because... You're, you hate women, though. <laughs> so that could be no, a No, I do not. 
Um, it's not what you're telling me off the podcast. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, yes. It's what you say to women. <laughs> and it's awful. Basically, what I think happened and what was uh what was the problem with lady gaga's scenes was there wasn't enough of her to get her acting ability out there wasn't because you wanted to see her naked that's what it was disgusting you're just turning this against me man (laughs) (laughs) no go 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 there wasn't enough of her to actually i don't know uh kind of move into uh, a deeper sort of space there were moments uh when her and joker escaped from the asylum uh, well sort of escaped had made an attempt to escape yeah that was a wig out uh her, her acting ability there and uh, running around with joker and stuff was was good was, mm. was was good at that point but i think for the most part it was just underwhelming it just kind of felt like she was just a side character there not like the crazy harley quinn we love and know no she didn't i mean in this as well she's not uh, a, you, she's you, not the psychiatrist as well that's a, that's a big character change. That is a big character change. Yeah, I, I think I want to I want to say though, like the main problem with her acting was just it just felt like I don't know if it, it felt kind of flat. Mm-hmm. It felt a little bit flat. To yeah, me. you're allowed to say it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I just um, I, I just didn't get the vibes. But the, like in comparison to one of her other good movies, A Star Is Born. You know, she's yeah, yeah, very very good in that. But yeah, I just don't know. I don't think she brought the. What about Wanking Phoenix? He was good. He was good. I think Wanking Phoenix still showed class. He still was the same guy. It, it, I mean, it didn't feel like the same character for story no, reasons, but he did play him the same. He like, did play him the same. If that makes sense. No, you're right. You, are you know great. what I mean? He had the same essence as his old original Joker performance. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. What was like a part of Joaquin Phoenix's acting that you were like, in, in this film particularly, where you were like, yeah, that's good. He's still got it there, even though the plot is pretty weak. I mean, when he's crying out in the yard to touch that chain, that was really good. See, that's good, and that's why they used it in the trailer. But <laughs> also, he doesn't laugh much in this. No, he you doesn't. You know, he's laughing every second in the first movie. This yeah. one, he, uh, there wasn't much laughing. And you could say, no, but he's on meds now. No, he's only on meds for the first half of the movie, and he was on meds for the most of the other movie as well. True. He was still True. fucking laughing through that. Yeah, exactly. So the right old time. Look, uh, it, it's like a piece of his character was written out of it. Pretty um, much. They, they, this movie made it like they didn't want the Joker around. It's like they had the audience there that they built, and they wanted to just completely blindside that entire audience and just take it into a you. whole new direction. Yeah. I also feel that this whole movie didn't go anywhere. No, it didn't go. Anywhere. It was. So boring. Yeah. It was so boring. It was a drag, wasn't it? It was a fucking drag. And all it was really was just a courtroom drama. Yeah, pretty much. They didn't go anywhere, didn't do anything. And in the end, nothing got achieved. No, <laughs> it was just like the exact same outcome as what it, what was originally going to happen. Like he was going to, uh, he was going to die in the electric chair. And then he ends up just getting stabbed by like some random psycho in yeah. the way anyways. I know you did the synopsis, but do you want to give give us the people yes. a cheeky little recap? Because I feel like this will be good for this movie. Just yeah. to, you know, everyone knows the story of the first Joker. They've all seen it. Yeah. But just tell me the sto- like what happened very summarized what? right now. Okay. So we have the intro prison scene. Basically him, you know, we see the aftermath of the first movie. And I liked that. I liked the aftermath there. Yeah, that was good. But uh, it moves basically into the courtroom scene. A very, very long trial courtroom sort of... I would call it a scene because it like dips in and out of the same thing. Yes. And that is majority of the movie. There is like the Arkham... Is, it's in Arkham. Asylum, Arkham, right? yeah, it's yeah. Arkham. It's like there's the Arkham portion at the beginning. But that should have only been at the beginning. And then it goes into this courtroom thing and then it just dips back between those two environments. And what, he gets out into the real world once at the end of the movie, then straight back into Arkham. It's like the whole thing just it is just like two, two locations, big court scene drawn out, strung out. And uh, yeah, he, he dies in the it end. It kind of, yeah, he di- yeah, Joker dies in the end. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Um, but it just didn't go anywhere at no. all and i feel like the music and the songs yeah. were put in there to pad out the runtime 
Absolutely. Because yeah. every time there was nothing happening, yeah. they broke into song. I'm on the phone. I'm going to sing you a song and it's going to be a two minute sequence of me just saying nothing yeah. into a fucking phone. Yeah, yeah. Or, oh, you know, I think Harley might not, uh, you know, I don't trust her anymore. Maybe not. Yeah. Oh, let's have a hallucination of a, of a dream sequence sort of thing, it, of a song. It just felt so overdone and stale. The, okay, so you you weren't happy about the announcement that it was going to be a musical initially, right? No, no, I wasn't. But you went in Not that I st- don't like musicals. I just didn't feel like the Joker. Yeah. Sorry, Joker. Joker. If we're going to yeah. be technical. Yeah. <laughs> fuck you, nerds. <laughs> I don't think Joker has, a you know, the progression to go into a musical. It just didn't feel like a movie that needed to be turned into a musical. Coming off the first one, it's a complete stylistic change. Yeah, I get it. You have the bathroom scene where he dances. That's very musical-esque. He dances on the stairs. You had musical moments. That's what this movie could have been because it shows him being crazy, but not the whole time, man. Not the whole entire time. I think, and we discussed this in the car ride on the way home, this movie could have benefited from a musical scene, but just make it one grandiose scene where it's like him and Harley and they do this big, massive scene that's like a hallucination, uh, diving into what they were doing the whole time into the movie in one condensed moment yeah. and not overplaying it, not overstaying its welcome. That's the problem with all these musical moments is there were too many and they overstayed their welcome for too long. Yeah, I mean, just off the top of my head, yeah. I can think about there's the Joker and Harley show instead of the Murray one, the musical sequence. Yeah. There's the courtroom song that they have. There's the one where he sings to her on the phone. Yeah. There's the escape scene song. No, you, didn't the- write, you didn't write Joaquin's singing either, didn't you? No. <laughs> Wanking Phoenix can't fucking sing can't either. Fucking sing, he man. can't sing. He can't sing. Especially when they do that quiet whispering you can't you can't do it man no. it's terrible honestly so you've got your lead character there yeah. who can't sing and let's make it a musical <laughs> stupid it is stupid you could hear the melodyne on that for all those um non pro tools users that's a little thing that you can use to i'll shut up you nerd ma- make uh auto tune out of someone's voice or you put f- auto tune in someone's voice you nerd <laughs> you weirdo hey i'm just saying man you could hear it you could hear the auto tune oh god it was there a little bit he couldn't sing unfortunately lady gaga did sound great though oh yeah she sung brilliantly I mean, I, i'd be gaga. i'd be offended if she sounded bad that would give this movie a zero yeah i know that would oh, yeah it probably would it probably would see because that's the thing i, I gotta commend it for that, for just her talent, that just adds like a good moment. Although oh, Bran- Brandon Gleeson doesn't sound too bad. Yeah, yeah, you know, he has accent, quite but... a somber voice. Uh, he does, yeah. And I, I, I love that man too. Mm. Even though, oh, you know what? He was probably the most interesting character in this movie too. Yeah, he was good. I like flat him. out say it. I think he played a good. Uh, I don't know, like opposing part to Arthur's character. I was really waiting for. Joker to snap and, yes. kill, and kill him. Which he kills no one in this movie. Yeah, it's just a fucking waste of time, man. Fucking boring. Yeah. It's like the whole the whole progression of the first film where it starts with Arthur and it works its way up to the Joker with this beautiful build. Mm-hmm. And then you, you get this um, massive, massive... The crescendo the moment. crescendo yeah. moment. That's what we're talking about. Uh, where he snaps. Where he snaps, but it dips back into Arthur, and I can kind of understand it. He's in isolation in the hospital, whatever. But we need a Joker to snap back fully and start doing some crazy shit. That's what people are there to see. Everything just, the first film built upon yeah. got absolutely wiped away. He's gone from, you know, he went from a nobody to, you know, the the face of this new revolution. This, yeah. This, the fight against Gotham's corruption. And then he gets cat obviously gets imprisoned mm. and just becomes a little bitch again. <laughs> like, <laughs> how? It's just like, what? what? This doesn't make any sense for the progression of the character. I don't know what they were thinking. What you were saying that it, it's, it's like uh, the ri- writers and the director were just like, Fuck the audience, man. We want them to hate this movie. Yeah. We just want blindside the whole the whole fan base. We want the fan base that it created or that was already there to just be thrown out of basically thrown into the deep end. It's like a She Hulk situation, man, where these studios are just like, oh no, we'll just write something that, you know, we think is the good 
the good thing to put out there. But you were never going to like it because you hate women, of course. <laughs> it's just, it makes it tough for you to like yeah, it. Yeah, I was just like, yeah, yeah. I saw Lady Gaga in it. I was just like, yep, yeah, no. Nah, in nah. She-Hulk? Yeah, yeah. In, oh, yeah, She-Hulk. Oh, no, no. I thought you were still talking about the movie. <laughs> i tell you what, you see rage when we talk about this shit. <laughs> you don't even know where your mind's no, at. Yeah, I see red. I absolutely see red. <laughs> <laughs> She's grown. She's grown. <laughs> Red Hulk, though. I know, but legs for days. And honestly, (laughs) when she, oh my God, when she did the twerking scene with Megan, Megan V. Stallion. (laughs) Do we have to talk about she Hulk, bro? Honestly, it blew my little mind. That was a cinematic masterpiece right there. I do. I, like, there's nothing better than that. I go back to that scene and just go, wow. Wow. Cinema cinema hit a peak there. Nothing and it's not even that. cinema. It's, it's a fucking TV show. Yeah. It just transcended all media. It was just the best thing that's ever been put out there. It probably, yeah, probably is. Probably is the greatest thing to have ever happened. Not going to lie. My brain feels like a truck has hit it and it is being continuously rolled over by a steamroller. You do look like you've been fisted by, like, a giant gorilla. Or <laughs> it was fisted by Harambe. Yeah. Too soon. Yeah. That, yeah. R.I.P. to the king. R.I.P. Harambe. Didn't Gone too it. soon. Uh, were there any stand... You know, before we dive into some more negative points in this movie, were there any, like, standout moments that t- took you by surprise? Or, standout moments. Or yes. Good bits. Yes. Good bits. Good bits. Good bits. Good bits in the Joker. Good bits. Yes. Real good bits in the Joker. Fully <laughs> ado. Fully ado. Um, yeah, good bit would be the intro animation. I like that. I like that. That was lot. good. I like that whole sequence. And it kind of, it set up the whole, uh, personality thing that they were going for, which I didn't like, but I didn't like, no, uh, it was, it was a good little thing. If they were just talking about the previous movie, mm-hmm. that would have been just nice if they didn't ramble on saying, Oh, Joker's a different guy. Yes. He's a diff- different character. No, he's not. He's. Like, once he snaps, Joker's it. That's it. That's Arthur all that's left. is the Joker. Like, He's the Joker. You can't say that they're two separate people. He's not two separate guys. That's stupid. I know they're going for something different, but this time they fucked up. They fucked up, they yeah. They didn't, didn't pull through. Uh, it's a risk you take when you change a beloved character and you take it too far. This is also... Sort of thing. This is under the title. So, obviously, James Gunn's DC... EU is that what they're calling it again, or was no? It it's a- DCU now. James Gunn's new um, DC universe is going to launch next year with Superman. Yeah, yeah. And so DC's in a was in a really good spot. It yeah. still is. It still is, is. Is it launching with? Sorry to interject. Which, is it launching with Superman or Creature Commandos? Superman. Superman. Okay. So yeah. Creature Commandos are coming after. Yeah. So yeah. Superman Le- or Legacy? What's it called? Legacy. No. Yeah. Superman Something Legacy. Like that. Yeah. Maybe we're wrong. The nerds will tell us. Which I'm excited for. Fuck you, nerds. And a lot of people are not excited for that movie, but I reckon it's going to be good. I reckon it's going to fucking be <sighs> awesome. But you can't get your hopes up these days. Anyways, continue, please. So... They have that. That's their main one. This is released now. Is it Elseworlds? Yeah. So yeah. they're calling all their other shit. So I'm guessing Matt Reeves, the Batman, will be falling under that. Is it Elseworlds as well? As well? Elseworlds, yeah. yeah. Um, I think this is the end of Joker. I do not think we're going to see a third one. No, um, no, absolutely I've got not. I've got the numbers up of the budget as of recording. Oh, so yeah. Give us the stats, mate. All you guys in the future will know exactly how joker's run has gone because i presume by the time this podcast comes out it's out of cinemas it's like out, yeah. this is we're gonna release this what in november fucking some shit i don't know it's it's coming out at some point it's coming out at some point in the future in time yeah maybe we'll die first <laughs> you but, might not even see as, this episode as a recording 123 million worldwide Jeez. for a 200 million dollar budget Whoa. which is like i thought in a lo- you know in a movie where they're kind of in the same location for the whole time there's two locations is it, is it a lot how did it get to 200 million dollars there's a fucking lot of money for just a courtroom maybe that explosion cost like 60 million in itself maybe that explosion <laughs> did yeah but I, I that boggles my mind because they're in Arkham I mean the play, the sets look great oh don't get me wrong the visual style of this film is exactly like the first one it's y- just not as vibrant and the locations is what lets it down, but it still has the same look to it. But yeah, the set designers did great. I mean, and even like a little visual Easter egg when they're walking out of Arkham, uh, and Arthur's in the rain, and the guards they have the black umbrellas, but it switches to colourful umbrellas, mm. and then it switches back to the black umbrellas because you see 
when when it switches to colors he's hallucinating yeah you're in his dream fantasy there yeah there was moments like that that was still cool yeah yeah oh there was and the great cinematography i mean one of the all-time shots was you know we, we love talking about a bit of shots oh we love some shots mate so i love the one shots. where um joker and harley are talking in like the interview booths at the prison yeah with the glass yeah yeah dividing wall that is a and good she shot. puts like the lipstick smile and then he like moves his head into frame so it like lines up perfectly again used in the trailer yeah spoiled in the trailer it's just like well i guess you guys used all of your best scenes in the trailer because that's what it seemed like yeah yeah and i mean no one is seeing this movie no it's wild. I I still would have thought that Joker 2 would go well, despite it being bad, but no one's wanting to watch it. No, because I think people are a lot more hesitant before spending their money these days. That's the thing, man. It comes down to how expensive is that cinema ticket or that movie ticket? Yeah. And is it worth me spending, I don't know, upwards of like 40 bucks for a whole day out to go see a shit movie? Because you got you got to think about people are driving and eating and yeah this is all that stuff as well this is why i just spend all my money on only fans because at least it's reliable <laughs> i know what i'm you, getting you know what you're getting and i like i got at least what 10 foot models who i've subscribed to and that's it but you know i know what Man i'm likes getting what he likes yeah exactly and yes i'm spending a lot of my wage on it and yes <laughs> I've um, had to pull from the credit card a few times. And but yes, I am in a lot of debt. you got to do what you got to do, man. But, yeah, I like the Joker <laughs> because I'm a jerker. <laughs> you are the real life Joker. Yeah. The old leaky cauldron, they used to call me. <laughs> <laughs> leaky cauldron. <laughs> we should watch Harry Potter soon. Next week, we're going to watch all eight and Harry we, No, we're just watching uh, Prisoner of Azkaban. That's it. Yeah, just and the bus scene. We're actually just watching the bus scene. The Leaky Cauldron, that's in London. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love that. Oh, so good. So you don't reckon there'll be a Joker 3? Absolutely not. It was actually confirmed by Todd Phillips that there wouldn't be a third Joker. He's I mean, he is dead as well. He oh, Todd get... Phillips is dead. R.O.P. Oh, yeah. That would be sad. <laughs> I, I be do sad. like Todd Phillips despite this movie. Yeah. Um, Which makes it even more disappointing. Mm. Yeah. So the, the Joker is dead, but... You know, if they wanted to make a third one, you could just say he was hallucinating it because that's a cop out that you can do with these movies. Yeah. Uh, but the thing is, it just was just such an unsatisfying way for the character to go. Despite this shit ass fucking story of him trying to escape getting the death penalty and yeah. just it being dragging on saying, you're a split personality, let's have a courtroom drama scene and all this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. He finally, he, he sacks his lawyer. He You thought something good was going to come out of the last half. Eh? Dresses up as the Joker in the courtroom. Yeah. Then he's like, starts being all the Joker, representing himself. Yeah, he's, he's the man. He is. Goes yeah. back to um, prison and the guards, the guards like, touch him <laughs> yeah there, that's it they pork they pork his pie they pork his pie without his consent which is worse yes uh, <laughs> we've we've dropped um we've dropped rape before on this pro podcast yeah we? i know but i wanted to dance around it oh. see how long it'd take you before the ticket went off <laughs> <laughs> no I um like it. yeah anyway they porked his pie without <laughs> his consent yes and he then immediately gives up on all his ideology and just goes, you know what? Fuck it. It's crazy. It's like after one bad dicking, he just gives up on his dreams. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to be dicked by Brendan Gleeson. <laughs> but, oh, you give up on your dreams. Hey, mate, when in Bruges. Mate. When in Bruges. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of money I'd pay to be in that man's shoes. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of money I'd pay to be in that shower with those three blokes. Oh, God. God, a boy but can no, dream. You can't have nice things these days. And the joke has to just... Fuck it up. Good one, Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's fucked. Yeah, and that's the thing. You would expect, like, the Joker to be doing that sort of stuff. What? Pork and people's pies? No, but, like, being, like, the, ag <laughs> oh the aggressor. I would... I should... Got, I, I gotta say, to be the aggressor in the situation because he's transcended Arthur and he's, like, gone into his crazy state. I was expecting him to, like, gouge one of their eyes out or something like that. Also, I don't know. If you're, yeah, maybe I'm just sick. If that happens to you after everything that's happened to him, he's yeah. finally got an out, like a 
a way where he can express his hatred towards this corrupt world. Yeah. And then another thing that proves how corrupt this world is and how shit it is happens yeah. to him. But then that makes him give up on anything. That's yeah. such a shit form of character progression. It's man. a cop out, man. I, know, cop out. Um, I don't know why they did it. I'm seething what, what, with anger. Well, I'm genuinely confused as to what the point was. What was the point they were trying to make with... Uh, they, were they just saying, oh, the Joker was just an idea? Yeah, what's the message here? Is that, give is that, up on your dreams? Give up on your dreams. Don't and then let someone else just stab you. <laughs> what? Uh, I think I think it, it would be them just trying to like jump on. It, he's just an idea. Um, the idea is more than him because obviously Harley Quinn survives at the end of the movie, which I thought she was going to shoot him. So did I. I was waiting for that. That would have been a better way for him to go out. I saw you go like this in the cinema. Yeah, I know. You were, like, you were ready. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, fuck. That, and I think the whole cinema was kind of expecting it too. When it didn't happen, it was almost like, well, if you're going to kill him, that's the way to do it. Yeah. yeah. Or imagine if he died being the Joker. What if he ended up actually killing people in that courtroom scene? Then they just go, fuck this guy. They get him. They put him in the electric chair and he's laughing his head off. Yeah. Like, that's a way to kill him. That would have been sick. That's a way. Well, missed opportunity. That's what I was going to ask you is, you're given the, the job to write Joker 2. Yeah. How would you have done it differently? Oh, man. I would have condensed every single scene. The the Arkham scene at the beginning was I, I do I do like a slow build. Yeah, yeah, that was good. That bit. Though. I think it was okay. It was, but like it could have been condensed a little bit more and just paced up a little bit more character development into Harley Quinn's character mm -hmm. because there wasn't enough for it to breathe. It was just kind of thrown in there. Crazy psycho woman is obsessed with this guy. Yeah, I kind of get it, but at the same time, it just didn't make sense because it was just too too fast. The pace for that was too fast and 100%. the story was too slow. Mm -hmm. It was a weird uh, parallel there. Um, then the courtroom scene obviously condensed that way more. Have him be bro broken out and actually start the movement and stuff. Maybe get caught at the end of the movie and then get electrified if you want to kill him. Or it can lead on to say, this is the Joker now. You know, we have Harvey Dent as Two-Face with the explosion as well. See, I would have had him just... I don't know. I'm I just, would have had him start off still in Arkham, and then I'd have him break out, like, 30 minutes in. Yeah, something And then like he's doing shit out on the run. Like, you know, he's doing, he's leading the revolution, does some crazy... Leading the charge. Yeah, does some crazy shit as the Joker. Yeah. And then he's like... Then you can still do that split thing of, am I the Joker now or am I Arthur? Like, what's going on? Yeah. I'm elite. Like, you can still go down that path, but he should have broken out of prison, and he should have, like, somehow, like, you know... People found out that he's in prison, so then they all find him. Yeah. I also don't think it should have been two years after. Two years That's, after is a long time. I reckon it should have been like two weeks later. He's just got into prison. Everyone's still got the revolution bubbling or the Joker movement, so then they go to break him out. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. That would have been sick. It's, it's yeah. Well, bef know, the whole before he breaks crazy. out, he meets Harley. She's like yeah. the psychiatrist, and then... They break out and then he takes her with with him, like something like that. It just the thing, the thing with Harley Quinn as well. The the part that works with her character is that Joker has been around. In when she was introduced, Joker had been around or a lot already. Yeah, his time as a criminal, as a villain, and a, and as a psycho was very very far into its uh, trajectory. Then he meets Harley Quinn and manipulates her and turns her into a psycho herself yes that's what's interesting because she comes from like the world of trying to make help people and get people better yeah but yeah she turns into a monster herself and that whole element to her character is completely lost with this idea yeah she was just harley by name literally like, yeah you know, and it was only mentioned twice or like once or twice yeah i like calling a lee or something like that something like yeah no oh, oh harley yeah, yeah, yeah i don't know yeah look i think um, uh, a girl, Lady Gaga. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Great casting, I think. Great yeah, casting. She would have worked very well, you know, with a bit more room to breathe. It's a shame that she's not going to be given a second chance, or was never given a script that's like good enough, you know, because yeah. it was wasted on her. Um, what about the returning characters as well? How did you feel about that? I really liked. They no, I didn't mind that. Is it Sophie, the lady who Zazie Beats, which, who Zazie Beats plays? Yeah, which was a bit of a 
interesting one because good to I like that. We, we were, yeah, and that, I think that had to happen because like it gave a little bit more context and depth to that scene that happened that we were left on a cliffhanger. Well, yeah, because we, we thought, thought she was dead. Yeah, yeah, but it kind of would have been almost better like if she was dead and mm. like I don't know where'd she go? She went missing or something. I don't know. No, I actually do like it how they did it. But another thing with the courtroom, it just also felt like a big recap of the first movie, just bringing in the past characters and yeah, recounting yeah. the whole time. Like, nothing nothing happened in this movie. And also, the character uh, newly introduced... Uh, the newly introduced characters, except for Brendan Gleeson, were all just kind of, like, there to fill a little spot. No. Uh, Harvey Dent, you know, he seemed like he had an, a personal grudge against Arthur, almost. Yeah, but why? Oh, yeah, he barely saw him you barely saw him and his the, the way that he was acting as like this smug cunt like mm. it, it just didn't really fit what he was trying to do yeah i don't know i just it just it just felt like it just could have been done way better yeah there's a yeah. lot of there's a lot of things that they should have done but i mean do you have any like questions yeah still, i mean still to roll through I, I all i was gonna say is like should harley have even been in this you know and you should, no. they, should they have done that already? If they should have done three Joker movies and she should have been in the third one. I don't think they should have done any more Joker movies. Well, if they were going to do sequels, I think. Also, the whole premise of this movie is they keep talking about how Joker murdered six people. Did they? No, Joker murdered five people. Then it turns out it's six. So yeah, because of his, his mum. So he murdered his mum, mm. which is off the record. Yep. Um... Then he murdered the other fat clown who he stabbed in the eye. Yes, Randall. Randall. Yeah. Murdered the three businessmen and he murdered um, Murray. Murray. All right, so that's six. But at the end of Joker, number one, the first Joker. Yeah. He's getting an interview in the psych ward. Then he fucking stabs the doc. Like, he kills a doctor. Bro. Because he see him run out with blood on his yeah. shoes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the argument could be it happened off screen. He might have not killed him fatally. He might have yeah. just injured them. Well, I apparently get it. not now. You know. Yeah, yeah. That's that's what the you know. If Todd was in the room, he would say that. Can I also say stupid that that character there? Where did that go? Yeah. Like <laughs> that's it, it's in the hospital. Oh, like, two years of rehabilitation, I guess. But fuck, man, it's I don't know. Yeah. See, Arthur's unhinged at the end of Jerker. Yeah. Joaquin Phoenix is fucking unhinged at that point. Dude, it just... I don't know. And, and for such a high-profile person to be killed on, uh, you know, late-night television as well, that case would get rolled through way quicker, I think. Yeah. I mean, in, in the real world, it would. 100%. Yeah. Um, anyway, we'll keep... We'll end up keep going in circles. We're both pissed off about We're it so as you pissed. can tell it just leaves you drained it's definitely not worth watching this movie at all you got any random points i got a few we can roll through before we wrap this up i there's poo buckets poo buckets there are poo buckets and you know what the grottiness was kind of gross yeah good grot <laughs> good grot uh, uh but the guy the young the young fella that was like following arthur Oh, uh, yeah. In Arkham Asylum sort of thing. You know, he was his little buddy almost. See, that was the beginning of something that could have been cool. Mm -hmm. It could have been like, you know, the beginning of his his Joker crew sort of thing. Yeah, and exactly. Like, and then, you know, it was very... It was actually... I felt re really sad when that guy died. I didn't, and, but like, I uh, agree. You, you didn't? You could be. Yeah. You could get sad. I, I got sad. I was like, you know what? I feel sad for this guy. Yeah, that was a point. Yeah, that was a point, I guess. I mean, they <laughs> sing the Kath and Kim theme song. Yeah, which I didn't know was a song outside of Kath and Kim. <laughs> no, me neither, but obviously it's... <laughs> oh, uh, obviously it's been around for a while. Yeah, right? so that that was a bit weird to hear the Joker sing... The Joker's the, made. Yeah, the Kath and Kim theme song. <laughs> um, not really much else, you know. Dude. It's weird that Universal made it. I thought it was Warner Bros, but... They Warner Bros. also made it, but the Universal logo was there at the start. Interesting. So, yeah. I don't know. That's just a me thing. The whole thing was just strange. Anyway, uh, yeah. Shall we? Shall we move on? Please, please. Let's just let's just get this fucking thing over and done with. Man. Fuck yeah! Um, All right. Todd Todd Felipe says <laughs> that he's defended the ending by saying the first film is called Joker, not called the Joker. It's called Joker. 
And the first film under the script always said an origin story, never the origin story. It was this idea that maybe this isn't the Joker, maybe this is the inspiration for the Joker. Mm. That's stupid. That's dumb. Because then you've just wasted four hours of my life on some random wank stain. Yeah. I want to see the Joker. That's what people are paying for. It's dumb. It feeds into the same thing that we've already said. Like, yes, the Joker is an idea. He's more than just the man. But the thing is, he the idea needs a vessel. And that vessel for this universe is Arthur. And we want to see the psycho come out, dude. We don't just want to be wasted. You know, no. uh, we want, don't want to have our time wasted. Um, yeah, that's, a, that's dumb. The that, you can't defend it. Yeah, no, it's stupid. Yeah. Film's working title is Folia De, which means The Madness of Two. Okay. So, obviously, that's because Harley Quinn's in it. I mean, like, look, I think it's a good title. I think it fits. She wasn't that crazy, but... She wasn't that crazy. No, you yeah. know, just saying. And she wasn't really pregnant. Um, they this- fucked in a cell. Yeah. I forgot to mention that. Oh, uh, yeah, true. They did. Yeah. yeah they were- oh, and Joker kills himself in a dream sequence, and you actually see it. Yeah. You're like, that's, that's ballsy. You don't really see that in cinema. You know, the best thing about that scene as well, um, him bashing the 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 judge over the head with the mallet yeah that was good i was like that's classic joker but it doesn't happen in real life no it's not real yeah so it's just like again fucking waste of our time yeah them leaving as well like trying to escape the prison that was good until they didn't escape i thought they were gonna leave they They should have left at that point oh that would have been great wouldn't it have been great oh god just get out of the fucking prison bro (laughs) You're not, you're, it's not Arkham Asylum. Bro, it's not that hard. Yeah. Just climb. Just climb. I'm sure they're, cr- they're crazy enough to get over that barbed wire. Yeah. <laughs> um, and this would be Wanking Phoenix's first sequel in all of his career. So, but he's regretting that I think one. he's pissed about it. Yeah, have you seen, I don't know, there's like, I think it was like the opening night or something when they went to go watch it and they're in the front mm. and they captured their reactions and stuff. Joaquin didn't look happy. Oh, really? Yeah, he kind of was like, I, I don't know if it's a stretch or the internet, you know, kind of making words, but they were like saying, oh, it, it looked like he was saying he didn't like it and stuff. Yeah, because yeah. he refuses, never does sequels. Never does um, sequels. And should have done Gladiator 2 over this, man. Yeah, absolutely. I say that. I, Gladiator 2 hasn't come out. Could be shit as well. Yeah, who knows? Um, uh, letterbox a- time? Yes, please. Come on. Let's, uh, let's get the box and the letters. All right, Ram says, La La Land for... I can't, I can't read properly. <laughs> That's not how you read that. La La Land. Yeah. Ram says, La La Land for couples who match each other's freak. One and a half stars. I guess so. Yeah. 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 So, you know. True. It's a Ram moment. I mean, I haven't seen La La Land, so I can't confirm that. Uh, Cobb says, Joker face. <laughs> <laughs> That's gold. Yeah, That's one and a, a half stars. Very good poetry right there. Lovely. Um, and El Salader says, um, Wanking Phoenix, sporting cigarettes out of nowhere for two hours. Three and a half stars. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of smoking in this movie. <laughs> so actually. much. I mean, it was in the first as well, but yeah, yeah he seemed to just get him all the time. Yeah, yeah. I just, although, you know... It, it just kind of was like the whole thing was just like, look how cool the Joker can look, mm. but look how much we can fuck it up. Yeah. <laughs> just, that's man, pretty much it. Yeah, this one stings a lot. I know every time we watch a sequel, like, usually they're not as good as the first, but this was a real, this is a real tough pill to swallow. It's because we really wanted it to be good. Yeah. yeah. I went in Wow, look at you. You're already tired just thinking about it. Yeah. You need uh, to go to bed, big boy. Thank you. Um... <laughs> Fuck it. I'm going to give this three out of ten nugs. Yeah, yeah, that's about right. Honestly, I'm just going to give it a little bit higher because I like the intro um, quite a lot. The cartoon bit. Yeah. 3.5 out of ten nugs. Joker. And that was another episode of Bros Knows Best. That's right, if you enjoyed this episode, then you can check us out elsewhere, can't you, Scott? Oh, you betcha. You can check us out on YouTube, 
uh, Spotify, all podcast platforms. That's probably where you just listened or watched us then. Yeah. But we have social platforms too, don't we, Scott? Oh, we do, like Instagram. Oh my God, TikTok. Oh, it's insane. And YouTube Shorts. If you like us, follow us there. We've got content, we've got episodes, and we'll see you guys soon. No, that's when you say next week. Next week. Fucking Jesus.